Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome. It's the 7th of March and that is 14 days since I started my 100 day project. And I thought it was time to share an update and a progress report with you guys. So first of all, I asked you guys whether I should do it in multicolored acrylics or whether I should stitch, stick to all my pure wools and wools in the oranges and brown tones. The majority voted for the orange and brown tones and I decided I did have a lot of one skein colours in pure wool with no particular plans for and that's what I'm doing my 100 day project in. So my project is the Stephen West Jigsaw Blanket. It's a paid for pattern, it, roughly $9.60 Euro, which is a, cost me about $11. And yes, that's what it should look like when it's finished, but mine will be all different orange and brown tones. I do like the multicolored. The perfect part is the graph on the back that numbers all the different places where you are because it's not sewn join, it's knitted join. So here goes. This is my project, some of my projects so far. I guess that was number one. And as you can see, it's joining as you go. There's some on stitch markers there, a stitch holder there. And yes, we're joining and knitting as we go. That's the only section I don't know if I like, but we'll see as we go. I did it twice um, to make sure that's how it should look. I can't really see from the picture on the pattern. But yes, this is my 100 day project up to date on the 7th of March because I allowed two days per section. Now some as you can see are quite big and take longer and some are quite small and don't but I am currently on track for my 100 day project. So I have used burnt, section one was burnt orange, a New Zealand wool called Loyal which I bought quite a bit of when I was in Victoria. Um, they're all DK weight or 8 ply three weight whatever you want to call it um section two was um a beige color from a wool organic that was given to me i think by janice from victoria and it's a pure organic creamy beigey colored wool and then click heat and torp which is an australian brand probably made in china or turkey somewhere and that is um, a torp color and then I've used Bendigo Blush, which I have a lot of. I bought a um, value pack when they had a sale, and that is called um, Sunset, the colour. And then I've gone with this Ella Ray wool, which is the first time it's not pure wool. It actually has 25% polyamide in it. But when I bought it in Victoria, I bought it because it was nice and soft with no real project in mind, and I decided I would use it. And that is actually called... The colour is ochre. And then section six is Bendigo Bloom, very similar to Bendigo um, Blush, but that is um, called Red Skies. And then I've used some Marvel um, Pure Wool 8 ply, which is a spotlight yarn in bright orange. So as you can see, you've got like burnt orange and bright orange. That's um, Red Skies, that's burnt orange. Um, bright orange there, the different coloured oranges. That's the Bendigo Bloom, so it blended in with that because it's a variegated yarn. And it's looking really good. It's really not that hard. Some of the joining, making sure you're joining in the right place, um, test your skills a bit. And um, I am learning a lot as I go along. You know, his instructions are really clear. Like when he's saying you join it where corner five meets corner three or something and you pick up so many stitches. The picking up of the stitches um, a few times have been difficult because I don't want big holes. It is done on a 3.5 millimeter knitting needle. And I have thought this before when I've been doing um, another one of his patterns. I could have easily have gone down a size for a tighter weave in the knit. But because I didn't swatch this, I don't think it's something you can really swatch. But anyway, 
the project is living in my black face sheet bag <laughs> there is quite a bit of wool in there as you can see that I've used bits and pieces and other colors to go so let me know what you think of my 100 day project um, and if you're doing one and if you're joining me in the 100 days tomorrow's the 8th um, officially I can start um, section 8 um, we had a lot of rain over the weekend Sunday and Monday we had 400 millimeters of rain I actually didn't go to work Monday I just found it would be too scary to drive it was coming down in buckets so the internet is a bit scratchy so this video might not get loaded uploaded till the 8th but I hope you've enjoyed seeing my 100 day project I am enjoying doing it I do like steam west knitted pattern um, it's just garter stitch, but you do learn a lot about matching up the triangles and picking up stitches and color choosing. At the moment, I just pick them from random from my basket. And that's it. That's all I have for you today. Until next time, stay well, stay safe, and have a crafty day. Bye for now.